going door to door, warning civilians to leave. Katerina saying, no one should go through this. It's terrifying. Today, President Biden saying the U.S. won't supply Ukraine with long-range rocket systems powerful enough to strike across the border. We're not going to send the Ukraine but a U.S. official telling ABC News that the Ukrainians might still get rocket systems with greater reach than the U.S. howitzers now on the battlefield. An announcement could come this week. Today, Russian shelling killing 32-year-old French journalist Frédéric Leclerc-Imoff, France's foreign minister calling it a crime. Shocking drone footage emerging from the Russian-occupied port of Mariupol. Mass graves stretching on. Ukrainian officials who were in charge of the city releasing the video. And European leaders meeting today with still no sign that Russia will let food exports leave Ukrainian ports. The EU's top diplomats saying Putin's latest weapon is wheat. Ukrainian fields feeding much of the world. This is a sunflower. Ukraine produces around half of the world's sunflower oil. And with exports stuck in this country, we're already seeing shortages elsewhere. Right. For farmer Keith oh. Huisinger, desperate times. Especially for the coming year. You know, if we don't open the port soon, our crops out here, we can't export them. Well, the European Union has just announced its members have agreed to ban two-thirds of all imports of Russian oil. But they've fallen short of their original aim. That was a complete ban of Russian oil. Russian energy, of course, funding Putin's war here in Ukraine. Which, Tamara, thanks to you tonight. Back here at home, President... Okay, Salawam, Salawam, Kwame Asala. Kul Halo, Yehawa Bashim, Yehawa Shai, Bahashem, Rukhachodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And just want to say the water to all you Aki Menachwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiel Vashai to the best of your ability. Shah Khanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, you know, you see Ukraine, they want weapons from the U.S. to long-range weapons that will shoot from Ukraine, you know, into the, the Russian border, so to speak. So... Now, if the U.S. were to do that, that would mean that they're active in the war. They're really active in the war as is because they're supplying Russia's so-called enemy with supplies, money, food, ammunition, war, shit, weapons, whatever, whatever. So they're really involved already. So, but I guess, you know, really America don't want that smoke. They don't really want that smoke from Russia, but it's going to happen, man. The Lord is in control of these, these, um, these leaders' minds. And what's going to happen is they're going to get into it, man. There's <laughs> no way around it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to eventually buck it on out, man. Let me um get this. It wasn't, wasn't a long lesson. Um, I'm just watching the news and seeing the dateline. I'm like, up. Oh, let me see if they're going to actually allow or send in long-range weapons that will shoot off into Russia. Because that's no different from them attacking from America. And really with the Ukraine thing, that's, you know, they're, they're a part of that war. Whether they, they're saying it or not. But they're actually a part of that war. You're supplying the enemy with supplies. So you're a part of it. You know, you're an ally to these people. So, of course, you down with it. You know, that's like a person, me and a few of my boys, we out and about and, and we get into a scrap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, they if, if a person whip out a gun, they're going to shoot at all of us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, let's get uh, Proverbs. Uh, what is it? 20. Yeah, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. That's why you're starting to see all this. You got Kim Jong un, um, North Korea's president, or, you know, leader, or dictator, or whatever you want to call him. He tested missiles, I think, the day before yesterday. India, they tested missiles the day before yesterday. Russia tested um, long-range missiles um, yesterday. So it's a lot of missile talk going on, a lot of nuclear war talk going on. And, you know, it's just, hey, it's all boiling down to, hey, what the Lord said we was going to be into at the end days, man. You know, like I said, I went off into it. I was trying to just see because I seen it. I'm like, well, let me pre prepare the phone to try and record it just in case they say they're gonna now they're 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 still talking of a longer range missile, but not nothing. They don't want Ukraine shooting over into actual Russia and, and it being a weapon that's actually 
from the U.S. that actually does it. See, they don't want no parts of that. Now, if Ukraine is so huge and they have such a big, you know, thing with, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're supplying the whole world with wheat. They're supplying the whole world with sunflower oil. They're supplying the whole world with all this food that's got all the food going up so high from what they're claiming. All these food shortages from what they're claiming. And and, and, and it's, that's a nice sized nation. It's not like a bullshit nation. You think that they had their own weapons. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is the U.S. sending your taxpayers money and weapons and all this other stuff over there for? They are a large enough country to have their own things. You see? Why even get involved at all? But this is what the so-called white man does. They, you know, sneakily go into places. They try and make somebody seem as if they're this savage. They've done the same thing with this, the so-called Native American Indians when they came here and stole this place. So they have interest in Ukraine. They wanted to bring in NATO so they can actually put military might right within the backyard of um, Russia. Same thing that they, now they're trying to get, you know, Poland, Finland, I think it is, or Finnish, Finland. To, to join NATO, you see, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Let's get that because that's how they get down. And that, that Russian president, he understands that. See, all these, these, these generals from all over the world, they may not have the superpower that America has, but they do have the strategic smarts to know that this is how America runs in and takes shit. And, and that president from Russia, he understands that. He just so happened to have a little more fighting power to keep America off their asses. See, America not running off in there. All that big bad, we proud to be Americans. They're not finna run off into Russia like how they run off into these third world countries, man. They'll run into these third world countries, set up, tear that shit up, fix it back up, and set up another puppet, and, and they out, you know, after getting all the resources or whatever. But they know not to pull that shit, man, with Russia, man. They don't want no smoke with Russia like that, you know. And like I said, I'm gonna end out here. This Just wanted to just do a quick lesson on it, man. We keeping our head on a swivel to see what's actually really going on out here. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the, of the fact that, you know, the U.S. Is, is just, they're doing the same thing that they've been doing for hundreds of years. They divide and conquer. They tell you this, they give you this song and dance about how bad this person is, when actually in reality it's really them. You know, now their propaganda is starting to back, back, backlash on them, backfire, so to speak. The American people are not falling for this shit like how they used to. And if you look at these comment boards, see, you can't, when you go into YouTube, they'll, they'll have the comments turned off. They don't, because they know the American people going to go in there and shit on them. They know that the American people, over half of the American people don't like Biden, man. They know that. They know that um, this guy's a clown. They know that he's a puppet. They're not understanding why their gas is going up. Or well, they do understand, but... Their gas is going up. Their food is getting expensive. But you got all this money and weapons to send to Ukraine. Like, how's about not, you know, minding your damn business and handling your own business? That's like me using the house note money to pay for somebody else's house. And my house is about to go into, um, you know, default. I got to take care of my own house. Before I can take care of somebody else, I got to be okay myself. And America is not okay. <laughs> for real. This place is all up there, all over the place. They send the money to is Israel. They're sending just your funds are just they just taking money out of your check every week. Matter of fact, they're actually stealing your money. You know, gathering it all up and just doing what the fuck they want to do with it. And that's why I always say, pray to Yahweh about Shimei was shy. You know, for um, basically, you know, uh, uh, repentance, man, for things that you know that are done unknowingly and things that are done knowingly because. Our money is unknowingly going towards shit that, you know, they take our tax money and put it towards stuff that we, we, we're, not a, we're not even with. We're against LGBTQ and homosexuality and murder, rape, rob, kill. We don't, if you ran up on me and asked me, can I donate towards this right out of my pocket for some bullshit? I'm going to tell you, hell no. Nah. But they, they're dipping into our money on a week to two week or month, whatever time that you get paid. And they're dipping right into your money, using it. But shit, that's abominable. Got abortion clinics, all kinds of shit. You know, all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't, you wouldn't dare agree to. All in the name of we're a country. No, we're not a country, man. We're not, we're not Americans. You, you kidnapped us and brought us here. We're in the, we're in the hands of human smugglers, and, and they, they act as if they're so hu, in, you know, so humane. 
We're the police of the earth. We must go help Ukraine. Motherfucker, you got people in your hands that you kidnapped hundreds of years ago that you don't even want to do right about as of yet. So what, you know, it, niggas is, you know, <laughs> we see what it is, man. We, we pray for the downfall of America and uh, the European so-called, the so-called white man's whole hookup, man. From this nation, Babylon the Great, throughout the entire globe. It's so-called, wherever so-called white people are running, um, um, running spots at, we praying for the downfall of them. Straight up, man. We're not with um, um, none of this wickedness that they pushing, man. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you better back down, man. You better come away. You better get away from that guy. When the when the when the when the real um, the real shooter, when the real drive by guy come through, you don't want to be around the guy that they really trying to get, cause you your ass gonna get it too. Matter of fact, you'll get it, and the person that's supposed to really get it don't get it. Happen all the time, you know. But I just wanted to just bring that out, man. Repent. We're in the last days. True name of the Father is Yahweh. Repent to Him in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son, Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior, Deliverer, and Paleo-Hebrew. We're about out on our new Shabbat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the new Shabbat is going to be um, Sunday sundown to Monday sundown throughout the, the next four weeks or the next month. And then we'll, we'll see what goes from there, you know. So, hey, keep your head on a swivel. Um, be circumspect. And pray to you, how about Shimmy I was shy, man, about all things. Don't lean upon your own understanding, man. It's it's better to not do that, you know. So with that, I pray to the lesson was edifying Kwame Yashallah.